Yeah, the uh, sustainable growth rate, or SGR, is what we've all been battling with for the last 10 years. We're asking that the sustainable growth rate formula be repealed. Um, this year, we have a, a chance of having that occur. The SGR uh, formula is how they determine uh, your Medicare base reimbursement. And basically it's keyed off of the gross domestic product. Most physician offices are small businesses. And we feel that uh, the Medical Economic Index, or MEI, is a better indicator of the costs that are required to run a small business. So we're asking that whatever bill they put together uh, does use the Medical Economic Index as an indicator for upticks. The CBO uh, Budgeting Office uh, basically has scored the repeal at, at one of the lowest rates it has in years. So for that reason, Congress is very interested in trying to put together uh, a bill that would um, uh, substitute for the SGR. And fortunately, uh, many of those things we have asked for have been incorporated in that new bill. And uh, that it's going to work its way back into the uh, larger committee setting where they finally vote on it and they add and subtract things uh, according to what may make that bill uh, more palatable for a bipartisan vote. Once that uh, clears the committee, uh, it will go to the House floor. Uh, for presentation and vote. One thing uh, I uh, always ask a congressman when I go uh, back to uh, Washington, D.C. is uh, what is the number one thing we can do as a society to uh, uh, encourage you to understand uh, our health care issues? And they say uh, meet with us person to person and review those with us uh, in detail. NASA actually has a website and put in your zip code and see how your local congressmen um, or uh, state senators have voted on the various health care issues. This is really important because what we've asked members to do is to actually visit their local representative. If they're doing that, uh, what we found is that um, as a constituent, they're interested in meeting with you. Uh, you are a vote to them. And if you're uh, savvy as to how they voted on the health care issues, I think you can be really helpful in steering them in a direction that would benefit your patients and ultimately you.